Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here and welcome to Karma. This is an RPG Mega Horror game for the Pixel Horror Jam 2017 competition or event as you could call it. I don't know how you would call it actually. But this is a game made by Sad Bunny Studio and we're going to see just how sad this little bunny is on the screen. So we have start, load, exit, essentially. <laughs> So we're going to see what this game is going to be like. It's cold. It hurts. Why does my body hurt? I don't understand. Where am I? Wait, no. What's going on? My name. What was it again? Come on. Think. My name. My name. It's Shuziti. My name is Shuziti. And this is rab and this rabbit is Herbert. Shuziti and... Okay. But still, where am I? My, my, you have such poor memory, Shiziti. What? Who said that? Ah, oh, Shiziti. I came all this way to help, and you can't be bothered to remember who I am. Guess I have to remind you. Drum roll, please. Shiziti, my friend, my name is Ravit. Oh, I do hope you won't forget this time. I don't understand. What's going on? What's going on? Man, your poor little head. You called me to help you out. You suffered a terrible loss, haven't you? Yeah, memory loss. One. Could you please just explain what's going on? Oh, fine, fine. You've been wronged. Because of that, you called out for some justice. Karma, if you want to say it like that. So, to dish out said karma, I'm here. Just follow my lead and revenge is yours. Revenge her? But in what way was I wronged? You'll remember in due time. I'm dead, aren't I? Well, you figured that out fast. Still, you're correct. Congrats! The grand prize is yours! I don't think that's a good thing. And what sort of grand prize could I even get from that? The grand prize is revenge. Right, okay. And how am I going to do that? Just follow me and I'll show you. In all these games, we have some sort of divine guidance which will lead us through this wonderful adventure. Welcome to my dear home, sweet home. Isn't it just great? It was made by the best person ever. Yours truly. That's great and all, but again, how are you going to help me? I'm dead, and I'm assuming my killer is alive, right? Correction, killers. So, more than one person killed me. Yes, killers, plural. Get it together, Suzetti. Anyways, they're alive. Yes. But that doesn't mean anything, really. Explain, please. <sighs> right, God. There are four people who directly took part in your death. I'm going to give you four doors. Each one leads to one of the killers. Well, a manifestation of their souls, anyways. Once you enter one, you cannot leave until you find a way to seek closure. Whether that be violent or peaceful. So I'm going inside the souls of the people who killed me in order to try and resolve my feelings towards them in some way. Yep, and, uh, you know, I highly encourage you to be violent about it. May I ask why? It's more fun that way. How you should see how you looked when you died. Real gross, if I'm honest. Anyways, you go ahead and talk to me once you're ready to get started. I've got a surprise for you before you do. What kind of surprise have you got in store for us? I don't think we have a surprise, although we can run. The books on the shelf are written in language unknown. This language is just not for me, okay? Nothing. We can go through the door. Hmm. It's all this grass in here. Sorry, sorry, if you don't have an invitation, I can't let you in. Invitation? Okay, we'll just deal with that as it is then. There are three shelves to check. Top shelf. There's no diamond in the shelf. The lock is rusted. You don't have a key. Middle shelf. There's a picture tucked into one of the books here. I'm in this picture? The people in this picture, I wonder if they're my family. I wish I could remember everything. Maybe I could talk to Rabbit about it later. Uh, one of the books on the shelf stands out to you. Golden lettering on the spine reads, reads, The Story of Two Brothers. 
Read a book, okay. Once upon a time, there were two brothers, the Teddy and Clade, Clake, Clack, Cl whatever. The Teddy was born with the gift of growing things, giving life to anything he pleased. Clake was born with a curse that opposed the Teddy's. He could take away any life effectively, and all it would take was the slightest touch. As time went on, the Teddy would so would go to grow lovely creations of his own, many of which would love him unconditionally. While Clake sick in jealousy, as he was left with the fact that he would never be able to create like his brother or feel loved like him. One day, Vitelli left their home to give life to a new creation, and Clake was left with Vitelli's favorite creations. While watching over them, he wondered why his brother was so lucky as to have such happiness and lovely creations to worship him. He felt jealousy, almost angry even. Suddenly, he reached out his hand to one of the creations only to find his own eyes wheeling up with tears as it toppled to the ground at his touch. Once Vitelli returned, Clake held out the cold and limp body of his creation only to be met with the angry and unforgiving eyes of his brother. Leave and don't come back! Those were the only words to leave Vitelli's mouth, and so Clake left their home and wandered far to find a home of his own, one where he would never hurt another living being. He would sit sadly looking at the corpse of his brother's creation that he held, had kept, sorry. One day, the lifeless body began to move again, standing up and walking around, even talking to Clake. The little creation told Clake that eventually everything needs to die, and that sometimes that was the best thing to do. The little creation lived with Clake, and because it had eventually di well, died already, he could touch the creation and even change the creation to one of his own. In a way, it was like a creation of a ghost or a demon, perhaps even to be seen as an angel. Eventually, the two brothers were known as life, or, life and Death and never got along. What a strange book. What a strange tale of two brothers. A flowery platform. Flowery platform. A box of toys. A soft Nerf ball. Simon. A magnet doodle. Lots of other older toys. A small doll lies in, sorry, lays in the back. Staring up. As you look up, you realize there's no ceiling, there's only a black abyss. Well, then, that's very nice, isn't it, now? So, is this our sanctuary until we escape this purgatory? Flowery platform. Something up there. Top of the shelf. And no view. Oh, good. Are you ready to get going, then, Shizetti? Yes, I'm ready. Good, I can give you your surprise then. One, two, three. So what's supposed to happen now? Who said that? Look down at your little herbert friend. Oh, what? I can talk now? Oh my god. Ta-da! Happy death day, Shazetti. Now then, drum roll, please. Go get him, tiger. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Alright, so I'll roll. Touch the butterfly painting. Okay, yes. Touch it then. Oh, Suzetti, is that really you? Oh my god, it is. What? How? I'm honest to god shocked. I thought I... This isn't real, right? This is just my subconscious, right? Yeah, your subconscious, that's all. Oh, good. That means we can play and it will be like nothing even happened. Yeah, let's all play. What? Herbert can talk? Um, yes, yeah, pretty cool, huh? Really cool. Now, I'll have two servants... Servants? Yeah, my lovely servants. Shall we be going then? We could go and play in my room. Sounds great. You could say it's great. Fantastic even. A vibrant pink dress. The doll is still. Maybe. Um, an old worn out nightgown. You think it's not a teapot, you realise it's filled with alcohol. Yeah, let's not drink away at that. A bunch of presents with tags and each of them read for my special butterfly. Fake roses. They are covered in glitter. The door is completely still. I don't think it is completely still, to be honest. Alright, dusty old mirror. You. Dusty old mirror. Red wine bottles. And now you go this way. Hey, keep on dabs with what you're doing, mate. 
Now, fireplace, a picture of a woman in it. She's holding onto a small child. A black and white photograph is of an older looking man and a younger looking car man. Another bottle. The flower in the painting is Missy Petals. The painting shows a cup of hot coffee. Lovely. Why is there a doll of Carmen? Little rabbits sat by each other, holding hands. Oh, that's cute. What, Chief Bunny's holding hands? No, they're holding a hair clip. You should take it. What? Why? I don't know. I want to see if you can take it back to Ravit. I wonder if we could. Chuzetti took the hair clip. Right, we took the hair clip then. Clip. What a mess. Indeed it is a mess in itself. The door's locked. I bet those little brats took the key. Suzette, go get the key for me, won't you? The girls in the windows probably took it. What? These windows over here? They weren't there before though, were they now? Oh, look who's come to visit. Why, if it isn't old Suzette, are you looking for something, hmm? Carmen said she needs a key. Are you the one who took it? Indeed, I am the one who took it. If you want it back, you'll have to play the riddle game with me. The riddle game? Yep, one of us has the key, but only one of us is telling the truth. Figure out who is the key, and we'll give it to you. Simple, right? What happens if I'm wrong? Don't make the wrong choice, and you won't have to worry about it. Now you're just being stupid. What the heck is your bloody riddle anyways? Are you ready to answer? No, I'm not! My name is Betty, and I didn't do it. My name is Holly, and if it it wasn't me, but rather if it was Nora. My name is Fran, and it was Holly. My name is Nora, and Holly is a liar. My name is Holly, and it wasn't me, but rather it was Nora. Fran. Nora. Liar. It wasn't me, but rather it was Nora. Oh gosh, and I didn't do it. Fran, it was Holly. Right, two of them point towards Holly. No. Betty took the key. You're correct. Here, since you were right, here's the key. Have fun in the butterfly room. Carmen? Suzetta, come on. Gotta check it out. What's with all these butterflies? And now she's gone. Carmen, are you in there? C Carmen? Suzetta, help me. What's up? Suzette, get me out of here, I'm pinned. Uh, what happened? It doesn't matter, I'm pinned me. I would be more careful. You can't just pull pins out. Ah, what do you mean? I mean, that's an order to it. And I'll tell you how. I'll give you four questions. Each have four answers. Every answer has a button to go with it. Once you know the answer to each question, go and press the button in order. If you're wrong with your answers, but I suppose you'll be part of a collection as well. You know, Suzette, you could use this to your advantage. If you want to do things in a violent way, you could get her while she's pinned. Just find something to hurt her with. What? Okay, fine. Uh, that's going to be our first point where I think there's going to be an ending divergence. Because the game says it includes five endings. Four characters, five endings. Hmm. Why are there different sins in here? Hmm. What a nice way to go. covers redefinitions yeah lust have a very strong sexual desire for someone 
with provision of what is necessary for the health, welfare, maintenance and protection of someone or something, attraction of quality or feature of something or someone that evokes interest, liking or desire, an intense feeling of deep affection, lack of understanding, uncertainty, anxiety or discomfort, a complicated irregular network of passages or paths in which it is difficult to find one's way, the course that must be taken in order to reach a destination, a final part of something, especially a part, a period of time or activity or a story, the action or fact of dying or being killed, the end of a life or a person of a personal organism, disappointment, the feeling of sadness or displeasure caused by the non-fulfillment of one's hopes or expectations. So, what are we meant to do with all these then? A small bag has a tag on it. When in doubt, stab them. I bet this one route. I think I agree with your guess. Inside the bad bag sits a pair of scissors. How the hell is that lust? That makes no sense. Look, I w it was a desire, a need to touch, to feel. Con okay, correct. That's confusion. I ran down a spiraling staircase only to find a wall at the end. Oh, disappointment might be. So I need. I have like a teal coloured one. That's what I'm feeling right now because of this conundrum. Carmen, are you okay? I. She says, he, thank you for helping me. I think it would be kind of cruel to just leave you in a situation like that. Not really. You really were always a nice girl. I guess my guilt is catching up with me. I can't just let it go. I'm always going to be stuck with the fact that I helped kill you. I was just so jealous. You got to live such a happy life, and even when that got taken away from you, everybody comforted you. While I got stuck with my life, with a mum who's never home and her boyfriend that always seems to be home, but still, I guess that's not a good reason to go and kill you. It's just not fair. Why can't I be happy? I'll never be happy now. God, I'll never be able to even say sorry to you. Carmen, I forgive you. I can only assume a bit about what life at home is like, but it doesn't seem nice. I really think you should tell someone. Maybe one of the teachers at school. I know you killing me was horrible, but there's no changing that now. All I can hope for is that for you to try and fix what you can. I really hope that you, can, you talk to someone. I don't want you to stay in a situation that's obviously skewing your better judgement. So, Carmen, please talk to someone. God, it sounds so unreal. I almost want to believe it's actually you forgiving me. I think I'll talk to someone. I'll talk about him, and I'll talk about you. I can't believe I helped kill you. I have to tell someone what I did. I'm sorry, Suzetti. Hey, Suzetti, wait for me. Oh, hi, Carmen. Where are you going? I wanted to hang out with you today. I'll have to get back home. Milton said he wants to come straight home after school. Oh, come on. He'll be fine with it. Your cousin isn't that much of a prude, I'm sure. I've even got a new game we can play. It's a board game. Nice, wholesome, fun, right? Well, so you will? Great. We can even go to my clubhouse. Milton said your clubhouse isn't very safe. Oh, please. That's only because he's never been inside before. Please, please, please. It'll be so much fun. Uh, uh, Alright, I'll go. Great, let's get going then. Suzetti, 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 I gotta say that was really boring to watch. You didn't do anything violent to her at all. It was a total bore. Don't you agree? Did... What that is? Who? She's referring to me. My name is Dirdri. I am the demon in charge of those who died when they're depressed. Is that why you're crying? It's a side effect, yes. Are you ready for this whole closure thing? I'm 
attached to it. More so, I'm attached to Carmen. Yeepers, if you have a friend that are attached to the other three as well, and why is that? We ran on a very weird system here. That's all you need to know, okay? Anyways, I'll be staying here until you're finished. Your t you've take so you've finished taking retribution. The same goes for my friends. They'll be joining us after you finish what you're doing in each soul. Now then, talk to me when you're ready for the next killer. Hmm. Anything changed in this hall? I wouldn't think so. Hmm. Nothing here. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I think one of the endings might have involved seeking violence upon her. Probably. Hello, Shazetti. Hello, Herbert. Hello, um, what was your name again? Durdriel. My name is Durdriel. It's nice to meet you, Durdriel. So why are you attached to Carmen? Well, simply put out of your murders, she was the saddest. As the demon of sadness and the like, I'm obligated to attach myself to her. I see. Well, uh, thank you for speaking with me. Of course, Shazetti. How can I help you? Um, opinion on Carmen? Carmen, well, I feel that she was the least rude and bothersome out of your murderers. I'm surprised she had her feelings for so long. Years of trauma slowly building up usually takes a heavy toll on a person. It reminded me of myself in a way, you know, back before I was a demon. Um, ask about Durdrill. You want to know about me? Not a lot of people ask me to talk about myself, to be honest. What do you want to know? What was your life like? Have you never heard my name before? Or did Christianity truly wipe out my story? In life, I was named Dirdri. My father was warned that when I grew up, wars would be fought over me. Kings wished for my hand, but I really wasn't interested in Kings. I loved a man named Noise, but he was killed, and I was forced to will to the King of Ulster. I hated him more than anybody. He knew that, and asked me who I hated second to him. Once I told him, he told me I would be given to him and that disgusting man taunted me. I decided I would much rather die than subject myself to such a fate. I killed myself right then and there. Right. Okay. Why did you become a demon? Death took pity on me and promised me that I would be able to live a bit more comfortably in the afterlife as a demon. He was certainly right. I'm much happier watching over those who suffered through life. There's a certain type of calmness to helping them find a peaceful rest after death. And ask about Rivet. Rivet, hmm? Rivet likes to keep her past a secret for the most part. She's not all that well known in the living world. But I'm sure one could infer that she has a deep urge to hurt whoever ruined her life. Never mind. Good luck, Suzetti. Oh, you already, already? Yes, I'd like to continue, please. Great, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. Miss Lula's soul. Have fun, Shizetti. Yes, we'll have fun, most definitely. It's just a painting now. And now the unicorn painting. Oh, Shizetti, is that you? I thought I'd smelled something. Now, who left a pile of garbage in my lovely garden? Ouch. Gosh, I wonder what I should do about this litter in my garden. Oh, I know, I know. I'll have you drowned. After all, a queen can't be stuck with something so annoying and disgusting. I'm sorry. Are you, though? I find it hard to believe. What did I do? Oh, here we go again. It's time for the Woo Is Me show. As presented by Shizetti, the lovely piece of garbage victim. God, honestly, why do I have to dream about you? You're dead. I shouldn't have to even think of your ugly face anymore. Honestly, it's such a pain to have to hear you mop around in my own head. And you're peaches and cream, aren't you, Lola? Oh, look at me. I'm Shizetti. My family died because they were annoyed with me, too. Boo-hoo. You should all pity me. Never mind the fact that I'm an annoying brat with no use of knife. No, all I could do is cry and get comforted by the people gone on the ball enough to care. She says, so you're squeezing too tight. How about you get lost? Maybe go die again. That'd be funny. 
but do it somewhere I won't see your disgusting rotting corpse. Well, that was... I can't believe her. Why does she get off calling me garbage? Ah, oh, Shazetti, you're squeezing way too hard. Oh, Herbert, I'm so sorry. I'm just so, so angry. Yes, I can tell, thanks. Listen, take a walk and try to calm down before we decide what to do, okay? You're right. Sorry again, Herbert. Well, it certainly seems that out of all of us, she is the most motorist to, com to murder me. Just a random person now. And the garden is filled with all these sort of creations. Mm. A sweet smelling cake topped with strawberries. Powdered donuts with cherry filling set on the plate. Have you seen Lola today? She's the most lovely queen in this world, don't you mean? No, she's a bitch. That Lola surely is lovely, and such a lovely blonde hair, natural blonde hair. The statue starts to speak. I always hated her. She was so moppy. Whenever we played at her house, I would take her toys when she wasn't looking. It serves her right. Besides, Mum said I'm allowed to have whatever I want. That should mean I get Suzita's toys if I want them to. I much more deserve it in any ways. Goodness, isn't Lola, Lola just the best? No, she's not. Today we played on playground. Shazetti was on a platform by the rock wall. She was just standing there with her stupid little bear. It annoyed me, so I walked up behind her and pushed her off. The stupid girl just fell flat on her face. When she sat up, she started crying. All because her nose started bleeding. It made me so angry. She just sat and cried like that was the worst thing that could have ever happened to her. This nightmare surely is not. It's still drying. It should be. It's dying. Do you think she'll like it? I want to make her a really pretty portrait so she'll like me more. I don't think she'll like you. I don't think she'll like anybody. She's too self-proclaimed. And this way has a pond in it. It's rare when somebody is born so pretty you know. We should all be so thankful to be able to witness it. This is Queen Lula's favourite part of her garden. She even has her own special seat for while she's here. I hope it rains. I wish I was as pretty as Lola, but that's just not possible. She's all natural. Beautiful purple flowers stand out against the roses that surround them. You mean fawns. Golly. What a bitch Lolo is. And what's her in this house? Nothing but horrible delicacies. Go away, you annoying brat. I'm getting really I'm getting ready for my afternoon snack time. I'm at a loss for what to do, Herbert. Maybe you could try talking to the people around. I've just done that! Oh my goodness sakes, I've just done that! Oh Christ. Hmm, got to see Lola today. Hello there, what do you want? Just a chat? I don't want to chat. What are you going to talk about is. No! Isn't that what everyone around here likes to do? Yeah, but I probably don't know why. If half of them knew her secret, they, then they probably wouldn't love her as much. It's almost laughable. A secret, huh? What exactly is Lola's secret? You really want to know? Yeah, tell us! The only thing Lola has going for her are looks. And as she claims them, natural looks. It's pretty much the only reason anybody tolerates her, you know. But her looks aren't so natural. No, she's been under the knife. More than once, you actually, and each time she told herself that she was so pretty I really wonder what would happen if everyone knew uh, here knew that interesting hmm how could she lie to us I feel so hurt please take this yay go about that I don't want to believe it please just take this and go Denial. Do you want to hear a secret? Do you want to hear a secret? Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. There's one more person here. 
Yep. Hey, do you want to hear some, something really special about Lola? Of course I do. I want to know everything about Lola. Yeah, just go. So there's a mixture of people who accept it and other people who are in denial. Medicine, please! Hmm. We we'll need more syringes. And why does everybody around here have syringes? Good. How does she lie to us like that? Yep. Well then, once everyone knows that Lola is absolutely terrible, she'll be herself in be in denial. Yep. Another stopping moving. And yeah, that little bitch, that lying bitch, he can have this. Golly. She is certainly one of those. Place a syringe in the box. Sujiti, place a syringe in the box. A lot of syringes. And that's all of them, I would believe. That was the last syringe. What do we do now, Herbert? I'm not sure. I hate being Lola's soul. It's pretty, but really, uh, it's tedious, I guess. Agreed. Tedious and underwhelming. What do you expect? Fireworks and dancing bears? I expect something a little more exciting, I guess. What was that? I think it was in the box. Well, go check it out. I want to see what's inside. The syringes are gone. Are those scissors? Yeah, I guess. The box was from Revit. Well, hey, I guess you have a way to take care of Lola, finally. I suppose you're right. It wouldn't hurt to take these with me. Suzetti took the scissors from the box. Well, let's get going, then. I hate it here. Right. Of course it's raining now. Yay! Yay! It's raining! Rain on this nightmarish parade! Good. Hope your comfy seat gets soggy, you stupid queen. Hmm. Now we go up here. A fancy throne. And now you're somewhere different. Lola, what's going on in here? No, it's her. Get her out of here. I demand you take her out of my room now. Get rid of her. Her? Yes, her. Get rid of her. I don't want to look at her. Why? It's just a girl. Ah, get rid of her. I want her gone. Disgusting, ugly girl. Hey, now's your chance. You could go stab Lolula with the scissors. Or, if I really wanted to, I could get rid of her. She's at it. It's your choice, but I vote the more obvious one. The more obvious choice, you say? Let's just look around and see what these different things are. Pink dress. The crown sits on the bed. That. Mommy. It hurts. Or... What are you doing? Get rid of her. I suppose if we're going for the more acceptance path, we're going to stab the girl. Alright, you sit down at the table. I'm going to go grab the game. Oh good, it's about time you got here. Sorry, but someone hasted about coming to play. I didn't realise Lola would be here. What do you mean? Of course she would be here. The game is made for more than three people, so I invited her. Greta and Nico are here too. It's going to be a ton of fun. Oh my gosh, Zetty, are you sweaty? That's so gross. I am, um, I'm sorry. It's just, it's kind of warm in here. Whatever. Greta and Nico went to grab some snacks before we start. Great, this is going to be lots of fun. Fun. Welcome back, Zetty. Did you have fun stabbing Lula? Lula? Did I didn't stab Lula. I stabbed a weird bleeding girl. Oh no, that was still Lula. You've got to be kidding me. Nope. You heard for one girl, she's been under the knife. The one you stabbed was just a manifestation of how she saw herself before the surgery. Oh, jeez. I kind of feel bad now. Now, now, you don't have to feel so bad. Ah, Akli. Nice of you to join us. Yes, well, I figured it would be a good idea to do so. I don't want it to be left out from the fun after all. It's a pleasure to meet you, Suzetti. You have my consultants for your death. So what's your deal? My deal, please explain. 
Like, what do you do? What, sorry, what are you? Like, how Dirdrio is in charge of sad stuff. Oh, I see. Well, if you're that curious, I'll tell you. My name is Alki, and I'm a demon of eternity. Does it please you to know that? Kind of, yeah. Ahem. <laughs> Anyways, when you're ready to come talk to me. Hmm. I'm curious as to what would happen if we stabbed L Lola. Okay. Great. Now I'm going to have to relocate this window. Because unlike other games, where you could just simply target a box, this one you have to kind of edge on board. Let's see. Is there anything white in the background? No, that's all good. So, that. And then, you. Stab Lola. Sorry, but I won't be doing that. And then this. Hmm, it was a relief to do it. Uh, okay. Yikes, okay, now that that's the wrong choice, I would believe. 